morning everyone Daniel from kickback ranch I haven't posted a, any pictures or video in a while so kind of been up to a few projects we've got the lift cover out of this one it's about to go back in um, we had an internal hydraulic leak which uh, this little doodad right here had to come out put all new seals pull the valves out put new rings in and for a lot of people that do have these old four tractor in there, people say, oh, your unloader valve is stuck. You know, this is your raise, this is your raise, and your unloader valve is right above it. To get to that, this exhaust plate here, you pull it off, there's a plug right under this port. It takes a 3 8 fine thread. Pull that plug out, and then you can pull that unloader valve out and stick a new o ring on it and clean it out. In our case, I had a bunch of junk in it, the whole thing had a bunch of just crud. So, we got all cleaned up. Another thing we did do is uh, we put a new hydraulic pump in. We thought, well, maybe we had a problem too, but we didn't. The problem was the pickup tube, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But we did flow test it, and I'll tell you guys a trick, trick, easy way is. Right here, your oil will get thrown up, so just put something to cover right here. And your hydraulic pump here, yep. Uh, a good way to test that is get you a fitting, put down there with a hose to a five gallon bucket. Uh, fire your tractor up, bring it up to 18, 1900 RPMs, and hit your timer for one minute and see how quick it fills your bucket. And it'll kind of give you an indication of the health of your hydraulic pump. Easy way to do that before you put your lift cover back on. All right, so. With one of our issues, we were having a lot of cavitation and aerated fluid. Um, uh, my parts. So this is the new screen that was in it. The one thing is they're not making these very good. This is not flat. I had to shine it down. But if you can see that nick right there, the O-ring would not seal around that. Now this sealed flat to the pump, but it was still sucking air because it was not sealed right here at the end of my fingertip. So that caused a huge headache as well. All right, more videos to come. When we finish up, I'll show you guys how everything's working and if we fix it or not. Later.